closes the lid and unplugs a device no bigger than her thumb from the computer. My life's work, she says, but it isn't her life's work. You see, we store information like an Escher painting. It shouldn't all fit in there, but it does. And every day we manage to fit more and more into smaller and smaller spaces until one day, she says, we'll be able to fit all the information the world has, everything that everyone knows and believes and dreams, into nothing. It will all be there, stored and filed, tagged with any keywords you might imagine. Our hard drives will be thin air. They'll make nanobots look like elephants. And elephants will be in there too, tagged accessible with search terms like grey, ivory, and the largest land-dwelling mammal. We'll process away at nothing and understand everything. We'll think of a word and the information will slip in, not through our ears or eyes, but straight through our skin. Information will breathe in and out of us, permeate our skin. Our knowing will be as deep as it is wide. You see, our work here is to learn so much, to be so full of knowing that all there is left to do is unlearn. Humanity must get to a point where we let go. We leave the useless ideas and the spent ideologies in the recycle bin, like an adolescent brain shedding neurons, like a snake slithering from its old skin, like an old man who's come to understand so well the point where reality meets the intangible that he's able to decide which breath will be his last and he will enjoy that breath more than any that he has taken in his entire life. And her life's work is more than a four-meg flash drive. My life's work, she says, is the impact that this has. This is not about what I produce. It is all about what others receive.